Let me make a copy of this image here because this is what I'm going to use. Okay, so um, hi, this is Tiffany with Hustle Hard Design Co. I just want to do a quick video about my Pattern Maker GPT for Chat GPT. Okay, so um, let me make a, my excess out here. So um, with Chat GPT, this um, creator is script based. And it should create four patterns when you upload your image. Considering that it's script based, um, ChatGPT can be iffy at times. Um, it works better during non peak hours. Okay, so and it, if it works correctly, it should give you four patterns and should give you four previews. The download links for the preview patterns for the main um, download patterns are good for 30 minutes to one hour. And the preview, um, it doesn't have an expiration, but the uh, previews will have a white background. <clears throat> and the download links will uh, have transparent background because the image you upload will have a transparent background. But it works best with cropped uh, images. So they need to be cropped to the subject, not have any negative space because that will affect the circle pattern. The way that I have the um, spacing set up for that, and you'll get error messages. Okay, so I'm going to paste this image here, and it should give me four patterns. So let's see. Well, let me press this here. And now it's just prompting me to upload my image. Okay, the image should be anywhere from 1,000 by 1,000 to 3,000 by 3,000 size. And... Um, it works better um, with smaller images to it because it's going to upscale the final pattern. And the output should be 3600 by 3600 at 300 dpi. Okay. So let's see what we get. Okay, so we're still analyzing. It's reading the script, so hopefully it will act right today. Okay, early this morning, um, once I finished this uh, script up, and last night it was it was working pretty fast, so. Um, it just depends on chat GPT. Well, let me see. The patterns may not be correct because it did give a preview. It should give previews of the images. So let's see. And also it's going to name the, um, and it didn't do the file name correctly. So it, let me see. It just said image pattern. Nope. So these is probably not going to be correct. Okay, we'll do it five by five, but I have it set up to do a certain file naming. Okay, well, that's correct. Let's see. Okay. Okay, that was correct. Okay. And if it doesn't give you the preview, you can ask for the preview. So um, let's see. You know what? Let's see if the size came out correctly since I know it didn't do. Let's find this. Okay, so now I'm going to open this up in Photoshop so we can check the DPI and the size. And I've also noticed that when um, I'm doing coding and running scripts in ChatGPT, that that session is only good for about an hour and it won't execute any more code. 
Okay, let's see. It's okay, it's 3,600 by 3,600 at 300 PPI. So that's good. So it upscaled the pattern for us. Okay, um, recycle it just to see. Will it do a preview? You know, let's find another image. Let me see if I can. Let's try this apple here. Okay. See if it will give us a another pattern. Okay, I'm going to ask it to give me a preview. Please provide preview. Okay, so I did the apples correctly. Okay, it's giving the preview. So I guess if it doesn't give you the preview, just ask for it. Okay. Okay, so um, with the preview, so that way you can make sure that everything came out correctly before you just waste your time downloading. So, okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so... Um, okay, so this is how it should be... Um, when you first use it. So if you upload an image, it should automatically give you the grid pattern, checker pattern, single circle and a double circle, and it should provide you the download links. Okay, so just remember that these images are good. The links are good for 30 minutes to one hour, um, but you can uh, download the grid patterns by using this download chart here. Okay, so let's open this up and the trans the transparent patterns with the download links are 3600 by 3600 but these here let's open this up in uh, Photoshop and also they don't have the same uh, file naming um, um, mechanism let me I'm going to ask it to please correct the file names because the file name should be, it should give you a date, a description of the image and then what type of pattern it is. Please correct file name. Okay, so it should redo the file, um, redo the file downloads with the correct file name. Okay, so while that's going, okay, okay, so it says it seems there was an issue with defining the date string for renaming the files. Let's correct that, and okay, it says it's going to use the description Granny Smith Apple, so let's see. Okay, so it corrected the file name and it did um granny it did the date which is august the first granny smith apple grid pattern so let's see if it did it for this one okay so let's see it says yeah so it did it okay so let's go back to these here i'm going to open this checker pattern here which is from the chart. So let's open it in Photoshop. Open with Photoshop. Okay, so it's a 1580 by 1630 at 200 PPI. So, and it also has a white background. So um, if you would like to use that one, you can do so. Okay, so if you have any questions or any other type of um, GPTs or um, scripts that you would like for me to make, please let me know. And the same GPT that I made, 
it can also be done on your own um, local system. So I can program this to, um, to create endless patterns. I could create an input folder with different um, backgrounds. I'm, I'm sorry, with different uh, transparent images, and it will just go through and just create four patterns for each image that I have in the folder. And um, just like that. So um, thank you so much for watching my video. So please leave me a comment in the, in the um, comment of the video. Um, thank you so much. And please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thank you. And I plan to do more um, to create more GPTs and videos like this. Okay. Have a great